Assets and liabilities. What is an asset? What is a liability? There's all these fancy financial words. What does it actually mean? A very simple explanation is that a liability takes money out of your pocket. So every month, every year, it is costing you money. An asset takes money and puts it in your pocket. That's the key difference. Assets puts money in your pocket. Liability strips money out of your pocket. So then I guess it brings us to some examples. So is the home that you live in, if you own your own home and you live in that home, is that an asset or a liability? Well, it costs me money every month. I have to pay the mortgage, I have to pay the maintenance, I have to pay like to prepare the place, the electricity, the light, the power. Owning a house is expensive. And therefore, by that definition, it's a liability. Every month you're paying money out for this thing. But most people think of the home they live in as an asset. But that's not true. It's costing you money every single month. Of course, there are ways of turning your house into an asset. Maybe you rent out one of the rooms. Maybe you can buy an additional property which you rent out. And if that gives you positive money each month, then that's an asset. But generally, the home that you live in is not an asset, it's a liability. So when people are telling you to buy the biggest house possible, they're telling you to buy the biggest liability possible. Like that is bad advice. Let's move on to the second example, your car. Is your car an asset? Well, I would say no. You have to pay each month for petrol, for gas, for insurance, for repairs, for maintenance, all these things. Every month, every day, every week a car will be taking money out of your pocket, so it's a liability. And it's unbelievable, most people will tell you, buy the biggest house possible, buy a nice car. All you're doing really is buying bigger liabilities that cost you more money, that take money out of your pockets. 90% of people, maybe more, 95% of people, all they own is liabilities. And of course you need to live somewhere, you need to have a house. <laughs> Most people need a car to get around. We're not saying don't have one. We're saying think about it that because these are liabilities, buy a small liability, buy a smaller, cheaper car. Don't upgrade your house to a bigger, even bigger house, bigger liability. That's Choose. what we did for 10 years. We bought a two bedroom apartment. Uh, people would look at it as like a starter property and we actually got pressure to move into a bigger place. When are you going to move into a proper house? Like what's improper about the house we live in? We were quite happy with it. We never upgraded and bought a bigger liability. And that brings us to the key sentiment, the key feeling, the key idea. If you have to buy a liability, buy the smallest liability possible. And the way to getting wealthy is to buy assets. And we're going to explain in another video what that means. How do you buy an asset? Where do you go? Is there an asset shop? Like, where are these <laughs> things? How do I buy an asset? And we'll come on to that. Took me about two years to figure that out. I was running around England going, where's assets? Find the assets. Let me buy an asset. Uh, so make sure you check out the next video, which is how to make money whilst you're asleep, which will cover all of the different asset classes you can invest in. Please subscribe now. So you've learned the difference between assets and liabilities. Next video to move on to is how to make money in your sleep and to work out which asset class you would most like to invest in. Then you can start to think about the three different ways to invest in the stock market and how you're going to purchase your first assets. Mm -hmm.